We have three micro hardness testers. They all have Vickers indenters. There's the Shimatsu HMV M, the Lico M400, and the Digital HVS 1000. They all, you follow the same procedure to make indentations with all three machines, but with the Shimatsu and the digital micro hardness testers, that's a little bit more involved to measure the indentation diagonals. First, you to cover the machine and also sign in. Turn the machine on and also decide what test load you need by carefully changing, changing the style here. And also, you set the load dwell time on the left side of the machine. Next, you should lower the stage slightly and switch to the 10x objective lens using this lever and put your specimen on the stage. Then you raise your sample so that the surface is very close to the objective lens, but be careful not to ram the stage or the indenter into your objective lens or the indenter. And while looking through the eyepiece, you should move the stage down while you're focusing on the surface. Once it's focused and you've chosen a test area, you should switch, carefully switch to the 40x objective lens, refocus, and decide exactly where you want to test. Once you're confident that you've set the right test load and the dwell time, that you've chosen the spot you want to test, carefully switch to the indenter by using this lever, press this button, and this light will turn on and you can hear the indenter coming down. And at this point, you should not touch the machine and you should not move your sample. When the, sample, when the testing is done, the indenter will go back up and this light will turn off and you can you should carefully switch back to the 40x objective lens to measure the indentation. While looking through the eyepiece, you should refocus so that the corners of the indentation are very clear. And you should also adjust the eyepiece so that the crosshairs inside the eyepiece are very distinct. You can move the both crosshairs by adjusting this knob, and you can move the right one by adjusting this one. You should never move the crosshairs too close to each other because they are painted on glass leaves that are on the same plane. So if you move it too close and past each other, they can break. Position, you've made it a diamond-shaped indentation. There is one diagonal and another one perpendicular to that. And to measure the first diagonal, you want to move the crosshairs perpendicular to the first diagonal and barely touching it and you read off the measurement here. Each, u each increment on the barrel is 50 units, and each increment on this drum here is one unit. You read off the diagonal here, and you also measure, turn, you can turn this and you measure the other diagonal. You take the average of these two measurements, and in this Vickers hardness table, you look under the correct load and you look up the whole number of the diagonal measurement and the fractional portion, you match that up and you find the corresponding Vickers hardness number. You should take several measurements and take the average of them. And you should place the indentations a distance of at least two times the diagonal length apart. When you are finished with your test, you should switch back to the 10x objective lens and then lower the stage
remove your sample, and turn off the machine, sign out, and cover the machine back up. We have sample holders for testing the micro hardness of wire for flat samples that aren't mounted and for bars and cylinder bars and rods. You should contact the person who is in charge of maintaining this room in order to use these sample holders. <laughs>